Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I was going to make this video several times and didn't get a chance to get out here because I had to keep working. And then when I finally got out here, the wind started blowing. So I put on my little puffy microphone because I know a lot of you say that you, the wind noise in the camera doesn't bother you, but it bothers me. And when I'm trying to edit a video and I hear myself talking and I hear <laughs> in the camera, it drives me insane. And it drives me insane when I see news reporters and the wind's hitting the camp, the microphone and it, it cuts out their voice because the wind is so strong and, and other people making videos. It just drives me crazy. There's better ways to get your audio without having all that wind noise. So, hence the reason for the puffy microphone. <laughs> now, along with that, you know, I, I tell people all the time that practice makes perfect. You've got to practice with your dentures if you plan on ever being able to use them correctly. And, you know, just like this, this goes right along with dentures. I, I studied things, I learned things, I practiced things until I figured out how can I make a video outside in the wind without it messing with the microphone. It took a little while to figure it out. And I figured it out. The same way I figured out my dentures. It took, it took a while, but I figured out how to function with my dentures. And we can all do that. There's no big secret to learning how to function with your dentures other than the fact that you have to wear them, you have to keep trying, and you have to be determined to make those dentures part of you. That's the main key. <clears throat> I mean, just putting them in a cup and going, gosh, I can't wear them. I just can't wear them. They just don't fit right. There's things to make your dentures fit right. Denture fit is one example. Getting a Dr. Soft Reline is another example, if you're in your immediate dentures. Or getting a hard reline on your permanent dentures if you've had them for, you know, three, four years or five years, it's possible that you may need to get another hard reline. Our gums constantly change. Our gums shrink. Our gums change. The longer you go without wearing your dentures, the more your gums change and the less well the dentures fit. <laughs> I don't know if I said that correctly. The worse your dentures will fit the longer you go without wearing them. had a lady last month that commented on one of my videos that she hasn't been able to wear her dentures for two years and she really wants to wear them again but she was trying to wear them and they just hurt really bad and the bottom denture was rocking and and the top denture was rocking and everything else and she had tried denture fit and it's, you know, it's rare that denture fit doesn't work for somebody, but there are cases where the gums have changed so much that even using all three silicones in the upper denture to try to get the denture to fit, it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working. So she went and got a hard reline from her doctor, after which she could actually wear her dentures again. And her doctor had told her, your gums have changed dramatically because you have not been wearing your dentures. That leaves your gums open to swell in certain spots and shrink in other spots and just basically completely change shape over a two year period. So she had to get a hard reline done. After which she had the hard reline done. It took one silicone in each denture to snug them up a little bit and make them a little more comfortable. She wanted that, like me, she wanted that little bit of cushion in the denture. So she's perfectly happy with them now, but she did have to get a hard reline done. There are ways to make your dentures fit your mouth properly so that you can function with them. And yes, everything costs money. I understand that, I get it, believe me. Um, but there's ways to save for that too. 
if you can't wear your dentures because they don't fit correctly and you've tried different products and you can't make your dentures fit and make them comfortable and you just can't wear them and you need to get a hard reline done, you can save for that. If it takes you six months to save up for a hard reline, you know, call your doctor, find out what it, what it costs for a hard reline. Start saving for that. If you can't wear your dentures anyway, what's another six months? If you haven't worn them for a year or two, what's another six months to save up enough money to get that done so that you can wear your dentures? It's only time. That's all it is. It's just time. <coughs> and <coughs> everybody can save. Everybody can save, even if, you, even if it's very little. Think, I've talked about this in the past. You know, think about the things we spend money on. I was going out two or three times a week at night and getting a burger and fries, you know, because I was just, I, I, I didn't like preparing food at home, whether that be just pouring something out of a can and microwaving it or cooking something on the stove. I just, I just didn't like doing that. I, I enjoyed just going out and getting a burger and fries, coming home and eating it or sitting in the parking lot and eating it, or sitting in the restaurant and eating it, I, I enjoyed that. But when I realized how much money I was spending on that kind of stuff, and how much money I was spending on smoking, and how much money I was spending on vaping, and how much money I was spending on all this other stuff that I didn't need or didn't need to do, it blew my mind how much money I could actually save. <clears throat> And once you start saving money and you realize that you're spending money on things that you really don't need or really don't need to do, you know, I buy a lot of those little uh, uh, Hormel meals, you know, the chicken and pasta meals and things like that, because I don't need to eat a whole lot. I'm already fat because I'm sitting on my butt all the time. <laughs> So I'm already fat, I'm, you know, and if I keep, if I eat more and more and more, I'm just going to get fatter and fatter, and I don't want to do that to myself. For my own mental well-being, I don't want to do that to myself. So I have to limit how much I eat. And those little Hormel meals, you know, they're like two bucks, 250 something like that. I really can't remember the price because I don't look at the price anymore. I'm so used to buying them. And... You know, they come in a variety of different flavors, and that's what I eat most of the time. I you just grab one of those, throw it in the microwave, a couple slices of bread and butter, I'm good to go. I might eat a sandwich, you know, an egg sandwich in the morning, and one of those little Hormel meals in the afternoon, and I'm good to go. And, you know, I'm spending, you know, two fifty, three bucks to eat a meal instead of spending 10 or 12 bucks at Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's or somewhere else buying fast food that's not good for me in the first place. Not that the other fast food is, or not that the other food is much better for me, but it's better for me than fast food. <laughs> so we can all save money if we try. We just have to figure out what we're spending money on that we don't need or that we don't need to be spending money on. And, you know, smoking is a great example. I'm saving $180 a month by not smoking, 180 a month. Now, if my brother quit smoking, we figured it out, as much as he smokes, he'd be saving $240 a month if he quit smoking. That's a car payment, you know? That's, uh, I mean, my goodness, there, there's so many ways to save money, I can't even begin to describe how many different things that I know I personally was spending money on that I didn't need or didn't need to do. And yes, I still have to, because I started a new series of eating with dentures in a vehicle. On my Dentures versus Food channel, I started a new series called Eating in Your Vehicle uh, to start getting people to start eating out in public. You know, you, you don't necessarily have to go to a restaurant and sit down in front of a bunch of people to eat in public. You can eat in your vehicle and be in public. And, and when you do that, you can look around at people as they're walking by and things like that and realize nobody's staring at you. Nobody cares that you have dentures. They know nothing about you. All they know is that there's somebody sitting in their vehicle eating. 
and they do the same thing in a restaurant. They don't stare at you. They don't care if you have dentures or not. All they know is somebody else is sitting in the restaurant eating. So I am spending a little extra money each week doing that because I usually buy fast food for that video, but that's one video a week. That's one fast food place a week. Whereas I used to go out three or four times a week and get fast food. Now I do it once. So that's still saving me a, a small fortune. So there's always a way to save money for a hard reline if you need it or a soft reline if you need it or whatever or you know to buy denture fit if you need it or whatever the case may be there's always a way to save money you just have to do it you have to be determined to wear those dentures and make them part of your life and do whatever it takes and save whatever money you need to save to be able to do whatever it takes to make those dentures part of you so I don't know if this is going to help anybody I sure hope it does and if it did give me a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button because you know Anytime you do that, it helps promote the channel a little bit more and, uh, you know, share these videos. And I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.